afternoon, everybody. Ty Metal at Weatherman here. Hopefully, everybody's doing well. It's been a long couple of days here since we last spoke. It's been weird for me as well. I've been very busy as of late, unfortunately. Also, a couple of Wi Fi issues have come into play here and have slowed me down from talking about videos like this one. Well, we got the tropics to be concerned with here. Although, I wouldn't expect any U.S. impacts from either of these. This kind of formed up pretty quickly over the weekend. We went from having storms with maybe 20 to even maybe a 30% chance of development all the way to a hurricane that's about to make landfall over Cuba now. And it's, we're only on the sixth advisory for this one, so that just tells you how quickly this situation developed. And then Nadine literally made landfall like on Friday over towards the over towards the yucatan here and now as we head over towards the pacific its remnants have a chance of reforming over the pacific with a 70 to 90 percent chance of development within the next seven days so interesting stuff going on in the tropics here thankfully the u.s is not under threat here uh, mexico is just about done with its issues cuba however we're just getting into the beginning here as you can see on the satellite landfall is pretty much imminent at this point towards the eastern part of the island here should be a quick mover, but this may stall out, so heavy rain is definitely going to be a huge problem over there. So, looking at the track, and this is where we have good confidence that the U.S. is not going to be in play here. A lot of the models are, well, pretty much every model is kicking this thing back out to see. Not the greatest of situations for the Bahamas here, but this storm is also set to weaken here. As you can see, not too many models here in the spaghetti plot have this remaining as a hurricane for too much longer a few of them do but in due time this is anticipated to weaken this is none of none of these are expected to strengthen at this current point in time and a big part of that is actually because of this ridge of high pressure over here that's over the mississippi river in the deep south here so you look at the model you can see that this storm move, tries to dip a little bit further to the south gets caught by the ridge as it's moving east and then we'll see this thing just get pulled out to sea where the environment is a lot less favorable. Wind shear is going to come into play, mid-level dryness to go along with that. So big reason why we're going to see the intensity drop most likely. And also U.S. is going to be safe for a good bit here when it comes to the tropics. So taking a look at the overall environment after this point, also some things to make note of is wind shear pattern is still going to be pretty unfavorable, at least for the rest of the month, it looks like in regards to tropical activity. It's really not until we get back into November a bit where we start to see a little bit of lightening up of the winds and even then that's in select areas. Main development region at this point even kind of looks shut down. So it's really towards the southern Caribbean here where we might see some chance of development. But as long as we have ridges in play like this, U.S. is not going to really be under any duress for the what looks like this segment of the tropics here. Tropical se uh, hurricane season actually ends November 30th, so... We're not done yet, but there's a light at the end of the tunnel here. So we go ahead and take a look at the GFS for the relative humidity. This is looking at our dryness here. Right over towards where this storm is going to end up going, we see a lot of dry air. So some of that moisture is going to punch through. But fortunately for us and for other land masses like Nova Scotia, this environment here, the waters are a lot cooler and a lot less favorable for tropical development. So not really concerned as much about what this will do beyond here. But as we look at these other areas of interest, Gulf of Mexico, Gulf of Mexico does get a little bit of moisture here coming back into play. Same thing with the main development region, but that Saharan dust does look like it tries to come back into play for a little bit. Now, if the wind shear was actually a little bit lighter here and we were seeing this signal that we're seeing here with the relative humidity, I would be more concerned about development. You can see that GFS operational does have something trying to form over here towards the Southern Caribbean where, like we said before, conditions are a little bit more favorable. But like I said, not really showing, any, showing me anything that I would be concerned with as far as US threats here. If we're looking over towards uh, Haiti, Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico though, do need to keep an eye on this run right here no guarantees as to what's ahead here with that but something that's definitely caught my eye and i'll be continually watching over the course of the next few days and then also keep in mind we're towards the end of the model run as we're looking at this here so one other thing we're going to look at before we go here this is looking at the global tropics here of course out towards the northwest pacific things are getting pretty busy over there that's just about on schedule i would say during this time of year 
But as we go forward here, point of interest now really shifts over towards closer to home. So looking at the short term here, we're seeing the Caribbean, as we mentioned before, as the hot spot here within the next two to three weeks. That I expect that to even continue through a good chunk of November. The further out we go, the conditions become a lot less favorable. And also, here's a little bit of proof to go along with that. This is the ensemble range that I like to look at just around the end of the video here. And you can kind of see these low pressures that are hanging around the northern parts of the South American continent coming into play here right around the end of this model run, which is about 10 days out. So like I said, plenty to keep an eye on here. We'll just kind of roll with it and see what happens next in any case, though. But as far as the U.S. is concerned, if you're in Florida or anywhere on the Gulf Coast, you can rest easy for now. Like I said, don't want to give a false sense of security, but no reason to be alarmed at this moment. With that being said, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you tomorrow with a winter outlook and we'll go on from there or really it's a winter update for us because we already put one out but that being said you guys take care and have an awesome rest of your sunday